Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to change your desktop folder color on Mac OS Big Sur. I am on version 11.4 as you can see right here and I've got this pink folder. Um, I've also got this custom games folder here uh, and I will show you how to uh, update that information right here. So I'm gonna close this. So the first thing that we want to do is we wanna create a new folder. You can use an old folder. I just wanna show you with a blank folder that doesn't have any items or files or videos in it. So when we click on our desktop, just do file, new folder. You can also do the shortcuts there. So I have this new untitled folder here. When I double click on it, it I don't have any information. I can't do anything. So what I actually need to do is I need to hit control or to get the info of the folder. And we're gonna have this little pop-up over here. And this is important because when we get our pink folder or red folder, yellow, whatever color you want, we're gonna end up pasting it right up here in this little tiny folder, not the big folder here. So what we'll do is we'll come back to the folder that we just created. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna copy and like we're going to paste it, but we're not gonna paste it. So we'll hit copy um, and you can grab this or you can just do the um, command C option um, again you can hit the control and then just hit copy here so we have it at our clipboard we're gonna come down to our preview item and then we're gonna cl click on file new from clipboard and then you'll have this little um, grouping of four folders here now what you used to see before Big Sur was there used to be the item here to edit and that's not there anymore so when you click on a folder, you're gonna to have to expand this and then click on markup. You'll see that some of these options are still a little bit different on Big Sur. So what you'll wanna do is come right here to this kind of scale to adjust color. You'll click on adjust color. And then if we want it pink, we can start to grab the tint the temperature or saturation and slide those back and forth. So you'll, there, you'll see there I've kind of got a purple-ish and you can go back and forth and, and there we go with our temperature is all the way to the right, our tint is all the way to the right, saturation is all the way to the left. We can reset those. We can start messing around with highlights, um, some shadows if you want to do some other things. Uh, we can make them white, gray, yellow, just kind of messing around with the colors um, on the levels. Again, if you wanna reset that here. So we'll go back to pink. So we have that. We're gonna close out of this. We're gonna get in this window here. We're gonna click on edit, then select all. You wanna make sure you have the whole folder selected. You're gonna hit command C, which is copy come over to our little window here, like I told you earlier in the untitled folder, click right up there, hit Command V, and what you'll see is that folder now changes color. It's a little bit more of a purple than a pink. You'll also see over here that that folder changes to purple. Now you can also download custom images for your folder. So if you search all over the internet, you can get PNGs or whatever, you can download those. So I have a little Finding Nemo one here. I'm gonna download it again. Um, and you'll see here that I have this clip art. So it's gonna pull up this little clip art and we'll do the exact same thing that we did before. Here, we're gonna go up to Edit, Select All. Oops, make sure I get in there. Edit, Select All. You'll see that I have this dot, dotted matrix kind of around here. We're gonna hit Command C. We'll come back over to our untitled folder, hit Command V. You'll see now, if I shrink these, that my folder is a custom Finding Nemo folder up here. It's no longer purple. Uh, there's designers and, and people, creators all over the internet that have created entire, um, basically, folder packs that you can get. You can actually purchase them online through the, the Apple Store. Um, anyway. If you're here, it's most likely because you're an educator or you're a person that got a new Mac and you're trying to figure out how to change your folders. Again, if you're here, it's because I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.